visions are clear, future are near. The more life you go through, the more paths you will choose. Visions are clear, futures are near. The more life you go through, the more paths you will choose. You had read what you sown, you had learned what you have known. There is no difference, it's always intelligence. Eyes are on the prize, you work through those lies. The cracks will soon close, you can succeed, who knows? Don't give up on what you wish, because you shall accomplish. You may die, but you will rise. Hope is full of phantoms. Fast affairs, among you ones and ten you ones. Our world can be a dark place, but it's also be filled with love and grace. So don't stop, don't turn around. Cause soon your dignity is crowned. Just believe the facts of life. That's for you shines bright. Visions are clear, futures are near. The more life you go through, the more paths you will choose. Visions are clear, visions are clear. Futures are near. The more life you go, the more life you go through, the more paths you will choose. Hello, everybody, to another episode. Now, this is a lore story. But, some of y'all may be wondering, who am I? Well, that's what I'm about to reveal to y'all right now. Hello, my good friends. Y'all may be familiar with me. My name is Ruby. Yes, y'all, I am the creator of this fan series, Hope is Full of Phantoms. And y'all may be wondering, where's my main look? Usually, I would have a purple royal tiara, spiked collar, mystical armor, mystical gauntlets, and my raccoon tail. Usually, I would also have magenta eyes. As y'all can see, my fellow friends, this is ice armor that I'm wearing. This is an ice tiara that I'm wearing. And I have blue eyes. So, many of y'all have been wondering, Ruby, what had happened to you? Well, the answer was in the very last episode of season one. That's right, my fellow friends, Fractal Fiery Turtle. But a lot of y'all may be saying that Fractal Fire Turtle is with Rose, not me. Well, in the fan series, he is. But let me give you a logical sense of me in the fan series. I was a normal phantom. Purple blood, to be precise, that's why my pattern is purple, not red, or any other color, just purple. And as y'all can see, I used to have an artifact as my badge, but now I have a paw print on it. Yes, y'all, I had changed into an ice tenuine phantom. I've been a tenuine, but all the ice had taken over me now. But that's for another story. I am going to tell y'all a true story about Miss Princess Daisy Ashley Moon. We all know Daisy Moon, Daisy Ashley Moon, the princess of the Jammerverse. And we know her friend, Billy. Billy was known as Billy Crenshaw, the son, the foster son of Todd Tidwell, the naval army colonel of Jama, who fights phantoms. So, we all know what the answer to this question is. Why did Todd Tidwell abuse Billy Crenshaw like he did? The proper answer was that 
Billy Crenshaw was a phantom rights activist, or a person who supported the phantoms. Todd Tidwell was a phantom fighter, therefore he had forbidden him to be interested in phantom-like stuff, like Phasmite comics that Paco Phasmite himself had created an inspiration of his life. We all know the true story of Billy Crenshaw. How he ran away to Ellipsy Enigmato Fiery Turtle and Fractal Fiery Turtle. How he had gotten morphed into an Imangawam or a morphed or a multiple Phasmophera. And went to Imangua, the island of snakes. And there he became a prince to Lady Rosalia and the Manguas. Our hook is that this school, Pop Bantam Academy, is where Billy Crenshaw had enrolled at. This school in particular accepts all phantoms and jammers, all equally. We also know that in the past episodes, Daisy Ashley Moon and Billy Crenshaw were being bullied and beat up by Taylor Alice Korea. That's right, her middle name is Alice, like Ellipsy's friend Allison, the one that bullied him in school for his tenuitis. Now, the reason why I added this is because, you know, Alice is a schoolgirl's name, and I thought it might fit Taylor Korea. And it's also an easy jig to remind everyone of Life is Full of Fantasy character and this ridiculous character, Allison the Monkey. Parts of them from being bullies, they are also the people that don't really care about much stuff. For instance, Taylor only cares about her popularity and how she thought Daisy herself stole it because she was a princess. Allison, on the other hand, she didn't like Ellipsity, therefore she bullied him. Therefore, I accused him of causing his tenuous in cl class disturbing it. But featured in this ridiculous made by Baxter Omnitiative from the Omnitiative one and Life is Full of Phantoms, Allison did not care about Ellipse's mind. And she did not, and it's because she did not want to be ordered or controlled by Miss Omnitiative any longer. Thus, the Red Dictator tries to put her in character deletion, but therefore, Baxi Omnitiative got called off, and Ellipsy's mind was saved. At the end of this, is ridiculous. Now, back to Princess Daisy Ashley Moon. We all know she is the Jammer Princess of the Jammerverse, along with her mother, Queen Florida Moon. But, According to Season 1, Episode 1 of Hope is Full Phantoms, Pretty Princess Crowns will be all good for it. So, I really do miss my dad. <laughs> I can't believe that invasion. What has Daisy said? An invasion? Missing her father? Something tells us that her father has died from invasion with another kingdom or specimen. But the question is, what really happened? Well, we are going to ask ourselves who her father was, and how did he die and everything. But then again, we also want to ask ourselves, when did the father die? We would like to assume that Daisy Ashley Moon's father had died right before Florida had met Billy's father, Tidwell. Well, we all know Billy Crenshaw's birth parents had died from a car crash by, Lace, by Lexi Lightning, Daisy's lightning strike. We can highly assume that it might have been phantoms that might have killed Daisy's father. But I always said, according to legends, every king in this series is a phantom. So, very question is, what jammer? would have fought him. Well, logically, we all know Phantopia, the kingdom that got invaded, and Rose had drowned into Phasmia, right, right when she was starlight for a while. And as according to the episode, there was this particular person 
The particular person that Starlight was betrothed to at that time, the one that killed her German sister, well, phantom sister, and the one who tried to drown her to death. This gem in particular hates kingdoms. Therefore, we might conclude that Daisy's father had gotten killed by the same gem who killed Starlight, Magic Fox, Fire Turtle's sister, Moonlight. That's right. Question is, why did the person who killed Daisy's father and Princess Moonlight Try to kill Starlight. Well, it's completely obvious. Moonlight is Starlight's sister since, and hence they are related. Therefore, the fox tried to kill them both. Like, just think about it more. Relationships can be affected easily, good or bad. Just like Tashiana and Scarlett's feud with each other in high school. And... Just like Gaius and Matilda, all relationships in life is for phantoms. So here we have figured out Daisy's first part of her timeline. So let's just keep everything straight here in the first part of the timeline. First, Daisy is born, her father dies in an invasion, and next, Florida meets Tidwell. But according to... Season 1, Episode 1 of Hope is Full of Phantoms, Pretty Princess Crowns. So I have no other choice but to actually let the secret out even though he told me not to. We can highly assume that Todd Tidwell, after me in Florida, had discussed about Billy and his past and told Florida not to tell anybody about what he had done because he feels guilty about it. Now, according to legends, the reason why Todd Tidwell had missed Billy it was devastated. Near after six years, is highly because his wife had disappeared. Now, we can't really assume that she is dead. The legends just tell us that she had disappeared. Well, I am about to give you a hint. Alright, alright, calm down now. I know you're freaking out saying, what, what, is that actually her? What, what happened to her? Why is she there? She and I are in a particular fam familiar dimension, basically. So, that's why she is sleeping right there. Forgive me. I'm recording this while she is asleep next to me. But, as said, we need to go back to the story, so let's just not pay attention and just let her sleep, just let her sleep, let her sleep. So, after Todd unites, well, with Florida, or just meets her, Daisy had thought of Todd as a father that she cared for. Now, to be precise, many of y'all have been knowing one particular trinket, Swift Tidwell. Swift Tidwell is the daughter of Tidwell and the older sister of Billy Crenshaw. She was the child of them that nobody has ever heard of. Until one particular friend of mine, Golden Puppet. I believe that was her. She had introduced the this, this Swift and Scarlet ship. And yes, the ship is still going on. So, during two, season two, Swip gets to meet Billy, unite with him, and all of that. But we're not there yet. We are actually still on the timeline. But yes, Todd Tidwell had a daughter named Swift. And yes, she cared deeply about Billy, really. So, Daisy at age 13 had enrolled in Pop Phantom Academy. Where she had met Taylor, who bullied the shit out of her. And then, as soon as Billy came along, they both got bullied. So, yippee, I mean. So, we had finished another part of the timeline. And now we're currently at where 
Daisy and Billy got finally beat up by Taylor. And now Billy is mad at Daisy because she has spied on them because she was so worried about Billy. Oh my goodness. La la la. <coughs> well, at least that was some drama back there, huh? I still can't believe Taylor did that to me. I mean, what did I even do to her? As Mom said, you, you were friends with me. Wait, Muke said Mom's. Were you spying on us? Really? I, I, oh sh! I can't explain. No. I'm sorry. Don't ever do that to me. Don't you know that I would not even know whether you even hear on us? I cannot believe I was heard from or watched. Me and Florida both. You stalk her. Billy, I, I'm sorry. I, I was just so worried about me. <laughs> hey, I worried about you. God forbid you actually stand up and defend yourself for once. <sighs> you see, this is why I was with a naval army, Colonel. And this is why you're a princess. You're supposed to fend yourself like I am. God forbid you, you being a princess. Billy, I, I, I'm sorry. I said, you know what? <sighs> it was, I had enough. Goodbye, Daisy Ashley Moon. Billy, Billy, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, y'all, that's gonna be it for the lore stories for now. Um, I'm dreaming up one, so if you have any questions, um, please ask. Um, I know the premiere is up right now. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, shout out to the crew members. Um, they did their best work at it. So, I'll see y'all on the bright side. Stay poppin'.